was built by people of stature. That so many of the stately homes are standing today proud and strong is proof enough that respect for strength, physical and spiritual, was taught father to son and mother to daughter. These people and buildings had survived a hundred year battle against air heavy with salt, winds of unbelievable force, the reverberation of Indian wars, naval cannon and land armies. Now they faced an uncertain future and it never occurred to any of them to turn their backs and move to another place. The stoicism of Beaufort citizens has overcome many obstacles to growth during the past hundred years. While many other surrounding communities drew into tighter and tighter circles finally to give up entirely, Beaufort maintained its circle and encouraged those who visited to stay. It was this realistic concession to a changing world which offered a lifeline while the adjustment was completed. Indigo, rice and cotton have come and gone. Now the farming produces each year a veritable mountain of flaming red succulent tomatoes. This tasty fruit is harvested by hand in early summer. Transferred from the fields in wicker baskets to long loading platforms, this product will find its way to America's dinner table in salads, sauces, and as a vital part of thousands of recipes. Although seasonal in nature, the tomato farming makes up another significant part of Beaufort's overall economic well-being. clean white sand of the Sea Island beaches, pounded into powder and molded flat and smooth by a thousand years of surf, welcomes visitors from the sea today with the same serene beauty which so impressed the Spaniards over 400 years ago. Modern homes, golf courses, and commercial buildings blend into the verdant surroundings with an obvious mutual understanding. now a blending of England, France, Spain, and every other country of the world with their penchant for altering and rearranging, have left the colorful sea islands virtually untouched. Yeah. 